Now in verse 25, he says that he'll also send against them the teeth of the beasts with the poison serpents of the dust. Now we see poison serpents of the dust appear in trumpet number five where scorpions are stinging. And we also see poison serpents of the dust in trumpet six where serpents or snakes are inflicting wounds. Now back to trumpet five in Revelation nine. The Bible says that the locusts are released from the abyss and given power as the scorpions of the earth have power. They were to torment the men who didn't have the seal for five months. And it says that their torment was as the torment of a scorpion when it strikes a man, poison serpent of the dust. The stings were so bad, the Bible says, in those days men shall seek death and they shall not find it. They shall desire to die, but death shall flee from them. And in trumpet number six, also in Revelation chapter nine, we see an army of 200 million released to kill a third. And the Bible says, for the power is in their mouths and in their tails. For their tails were like serpents, poison serpents of the dust, and had heads, and with them do wound. And so it's very interesting that when the Song of Moses refers to the poison serpents of the dust, that we see scorpions stinging in trumpet number five, and in trumpet number six, we see serpents or snakes inflicting wounds. And finally, in verse 25, God seems to indicate the feelings of those who will be living on the earth at this time. He says, there shall be terror within for the young man and virgin, the nursing child, with the man of gray hairs. So God describes the feeling of humans at this time as terror.